Okay, then, well, uh, when I'm writing a piece, I actually <clears throat> do something slightly unusual, I think, in the sense that I write it, I commit it to paper first, and then yeah, I, I, I don't usually write with the guitar at all, you know, so a piece might be in B flat or something, and I find it can only work you know, on the guitar in C, but then I want that bottom C, so I'd have to rearrange it for solo guitar, you know, a lot of, you know, I don't just write for guitar, I write for orchestras and things as well, you know. But uh, so yeah, I'll have to work out a tuning to fit that piece. You no, know, but some of the some of the tunings that I, I use, are, well, apart from this standard, there is a traditional Irish tuning as well. By the way, do, do you know that one? No, uh, C E L T I C. Do you know that one? <laughs> Where else is there? There's a G A E L I C. You know, sorts of, but anyway, in, in in Ireland they use ones called uh, uh, well, there's Dad Gad, of course. You know, which is just you know, it's just D A D G A D. Okay. Something like. That, that, that kind of sound, which is great. You know? It's a really great sound. It suits traditional music very well because there's no third in the scale. You know, you, you haven't got a tuning that's got that or it's not major or minor. It's, it's got that open fourth, which it lends itself very well. Uh, so, let me see if I can show you something. Yeah. Give you an idea of how it might sound. See, that's it's beautiful, isn't it? So, This is a C in the bottom there, uh, a G, and another C. So C G C, a G, C, and a D on the top. And then you might be able to. Uh, um, this, the, if you want to create something like, you know, we've got like a middle middle part there. You know, this is ideas I think about. Time. And then you might want to base. Bass line that can only work there, you know. So uh, I'm in C, so uh, C is like an A minor sound, isn't it? You know? But I want that where all those strings ring through, and you've got the bass as well. You know? The only way I could find is to put it into this tuning. So I've got A minor here, and I've got that sound right, right there too with the ninth fret. So you know, you got. and then you've got this keyboard idea. And then there's room for the melody too, because the chord sequence is just going to be just kind of around this idea, you know. So with the with that tuning, you can play a melody around these top three strings with not much problem at all, I don't think, you know. Um, it's great to have an open tuning for lots of all that kind of stuff as well. <laughs> so it's like an open C, for example. Um, Establish a groove like, like you know, there's like a bass in the or top there, you know, so you get like a you know, any that kind of thing, yeah. So you can, you can get that groove kind of thing, yeah, and then. So sometimes you have to put it into a particular tuning just so you can actually get the melody to sound, you know, otherwise it's just too hard, you know. <laughs> okay, well I use the loop station sometimes in shows, I don't overuse it actually. I, I did have just one piece uh, uh, called Chardas that I used, that I, I, I do use from time to time actually, and uh, there's another one, there's a new piece called Oregon which is a very laid back piece, you know, essentially I'm, I'm on my own, I just want to create a different sound on stage, so that's all I use it for. And you hear, uh, I've heard it in the past where people might play like a four bar sequence, and then 
just noodle over the top for however long you like, you know. And it's also great because you can just put the guitar down and nip to the loo as well and come back, it's still playing and everything. Anyway, uh, if, well, if you wanted to do that, for example, I mean, on this loop station here, there's just a, a stop and a go pedal, right? So if I just kind of hit, hit start, which is a, like a record button, you play something like... Uh, uh, Which is fine. Yeah.